Today on The Daily Dose, the bonus expeditionary forces of 1932. In 1924, five years before the stock market crash of 1929 and the subsequent decade-long Great Depression, Congress enacted the World War Adjusted Compensation Act, which awarded World War I veterans a certificate of payment not to be redeemed until 1948. When the Great Depression stripped many of these veterans of jobs and a roof over their heads, approximately 43,000 veterans and their families descended upon Washington, D.C. to demonstrate for early payment of their certificates. Known as bonus marchers or the bonus expeditionary forces, the protesters established a Hooverville or shanty town along the banks of the Anacostia River in central Washington. I came to Washington to get my bonus, and I'm going to wait for it till I get it if I have to wait till 1945. What's it that brought you to Washington? Why, well, to beat the undertaker, spend the money before the undertaker gets it. I know who's made this country worth living in. It's just you fellas. Look. Makes me so damn mad a whole lot of people speak of you as tramps. By God, they didn't speak of you as tramps in 1917 and 18. No. <laughs> While many Americans unfairly blamed President Herbert Hoover for worsening the Great Depression through inadequate economic policy, on July 28th, he further tanked his reputation by ordering the bonus marchers forcefully removed from government land. Army Chief of Staff General Douglas MacArthur and his subordinate understudies George S. Patton and Dwight D. Eisenhower led a contingent of 500 infantrymen, 500 cavalrymen, six M1917 light tanks, and 800 policemen into the bonus marchers Hooverville, unleashing tear gas and firearms when the protesters refused to leave their encampment. Just as the veterans had endured mustard gas attacks in the trenches of Europe, this time the gassing would be delivered by their own countrymen. Two veterans would die the next day from gunshot wounds received by overzealous police officers while a total of 1,017 veterans and their wives and children would be injured. Once the bonus marchers were successfully routed from their encampment, their dwellings and personal belongings were summarily burned to the ground. After news of the violence spread throughout the country, Americans were largely horrified by the violent treatment applied to these once heroic veterans of World War I, further eroding Hoover's image as a compassionate leader. Three months later, he would be voted out of office when Franklin D. Roosevelt captured 57.4% of the popular vote, carrying 42 states and nearly 88% of the electoral vote. And there you have it, the bonus expeditionary forces of 1932, today on The Daily Dose.